Terrifying moments at one of the area's most popular malls. On Saturday, Ross Park Mall was placed on lockdown after shots were fired during a fight near guest services. Two teenagers were taken into custody and police told us as many as six people could have been involved in this. But investigators are still trying to identify those people and that could be a difficult task. Ross Park Mall does not have any cameras, so investigators try to use cell phone video and pictures to piece together what happened there. Channel 11's Gabriela DeLuca has more tonight on the push to get surveillance cameras installed inside this busy mall. As detectives continue to investigate the shooting that happened over the weekend at Ross Park Mall, they're running into an issue, and that is the fact that Simon Property Group does not put surveillance cameras inside the mall. It's coming out of Nordstrom's, passing like the men's shoes, and then that's when I heard just all the commotion, the big bangs. Jason Bertocchi was in Ross Park Mall Saturday late afternoon when there was a fight and shots were fired. I'm obviously going to continue to shop online because it's clearly much safer than, than going to the mall. It's unfortunate that that happened. Ross Township Police have arrested two teens. Our cameras were there as they were escorted out of the police department. Today, a detective told me they're still looking to identify people who were involved in that fight. But they're having to rely on cell phone video because Simon Property Group, the company who owns the mall, doesn't put surveillance cameras inside the mall. Despite numerous attempts by our department to uh, convince Simon Properties, to put cameras in the mall, they have continually refused to do that. Shoppers like Bertaki says he would feel better about going to the mall if there were cameras. I think cameras would deter people from doing that again. So if they wanted to put them in moving forward, I think it would be a good idea for everyone's safety. Channel 11 reached out to Simon Property Group about why there aren't cameras inside the mall and if they anticipate changing that. We haven't heard back. Now we're wasting manpower to try and track this down like via cell phone cameras or whatever means necessary. But if we just had cameras in the mall, we could zero in and you know, find everyone out. Ross Township Police are asking if you know anything that happened about the shooting or know anyone who may have been involved to give them a call. Reporting in Ross Township, Gabriella DeLuca, Channel 11.